Hey what is up guys, it's the Mike Designs here and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new Illustrator tutorial on how to make a concept logo and basically it's going to be vector based unlike Photoshop which is pixel based and vector based makes it a lot easier for companies to improve the logo, make it bigger, make it smaller and it's just a whole lot better quality than making a logo in Photoshop and um, honestly uh, it's just better in general so uh, what you want to do is you want to do file, new and make sure the size is 1280 by 800 the units is on points and go to advanced and you're going to want to change the raster effects to high and preview mode to default and uncheck align objects to pixel grid go ahead and click uh, first name it actually name it logo and go ahead and click OK and you're going to come up with this big blank white screen over here and what's interesting about Illustrator is that you can actually do your logos outside the white piece right here, but we're just going to focus on the inside right here. So what you want to do first is you want to make a new layer, and to do that, you're going to go to Window, Layers, and this is going to come out. So what you want to do is you want to make sure this is locked, the layer 1 is locked, so go ahead and just lock it over here, and just make a new layer after you've made the new layer um, make sure you highlight it by clicking this circle right here and you can just minimize that and what you want to do is you want to go to the color panel down here and it's going to say fill and stroke as you can see the stroke is um, black and we don't want any stroke at the moment so we're just going to click the stroke and actually I'm going to improve this a little bit and we're just going to take off the stroke by clicking this right here and go back to the uh, the main color, double click it, and go down to black, click OK. So now you have a black color selected, and as you can see, you can't just zoom in and zoom out like Photoshop. You have to hold Alt and scroll with the scrolling uh, part of the mouse, like that. And, um, okay, right, one second. Alright, so what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and make a rectangle, take the rectangle tool and just go ahead and make your rectangle. Uh, let's make that a little smaller and a little wider. Actually, let's make it a, something like that. It looks good. All right. And after that, you just want to hit Alt and just duplicate this two times. So there we go and make sure you have the black selection tool the little mouse in the top left and you can just select them each and uh, what you want to do now is you want to take this one right here take it out and then right click it transform rotate you want to do 60 degrees all right and kind of align it up with the top rectangle right here and you can zoom in just make sure it's aligned all right, that looks good. And just shorten it quite a bit. Let's go right, uh, that looks good. All right, so what you want to do with this one right here is duplicate this again. So go ahead and duplicate this, and we have this right here. And um, let's make it a little bit shorter, just a little bit. And right click, transform, rotate, and let's do this negative 50. Click OK, and that's going to be good. And just align this up with uh, this part right here. And there we go. And just align it up. All right, so we have this now. And go ahead and just put this around over here. You don't really need it, I don't think. And go to the Layers panel again, which should be on the right side. And just drop this arrow right here, and you should have all these layers as you can see and what you want to do is this is really sharp right here so we're going to try to um, soothe it out make it um, a lot like a curve make it a lot smoother so by doing that all you want to do is go to the left and choose the tool the clips tool hold shift and just drag out and it should come a circle and with this circle just make it a little bit bigger right there just trying to connect it to these right here all 
and there we go. So after you've made the circle, get another circle and oh, whoops. Make sure it's selected. Just make another circle. Make sure this circle is just taking up the gap. It's not it's just covering the other gap right there. So what you're gonna do with this circle is make sure this one is above the other one and just hold shift and select that logo as well and just go to window pathfinder and this should come up and to delete this section just go ahead and click this right here it's the minus front and just click delete all right so you should have deleted it actually before that my bad before that make sure to duplicate the circle just hold alt and drag it over here and just let's forget about that one for a second let's 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 take away that so do the same thing with these two circles make sure this is on top of the other and just delete it all right so now we have a nice smooth point right here and it looks pretty good and what you want to do here is you want to take this the smooth point duplicate it just drag it out and you're going to want to delete both sides here but before you do that you need to merge these two together by shift shift Go to the left side and it should say the, the shape builder tool and just drag them together. Alright, so once you have this selected, click the circle right here and click the big shape so they have them all selected. Just go ahead and delete. So you've deleted that as well. And it looks pretty good. And you're just going to want to transfer this little circle this little cutout that we've made just copy that and with alt and transfer it and let's just rotate it till it fits on this one as well it might take a few tries to get it to the point but once you get in the pretty much the gist of it um, should look good get that All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so you want to do the same thing with these parts right here, but you just want to shift and hold shift again. Take the shape builder tool, just drag across, convert these to one. Take this little cutout and alt, hold alt and drag it, and just drag it to the outside right here. And try and lock these so that's. You can turn down the opacity so you can actually see where it's going. Looks good. So just hold shift and hold shift and just del oh whoops. Just make sure this is on top when you do it. Hold shift and hold shift. And there we go. So we have a nice smooth curve with both surfaces. And now we're gonna cut the logo in half so it can be perfectly symmetrical. So how do you want to do that is you want to go to view rulers show rulers. Once you've done that, take a ruler, let's put it let's put it right here. That looks good. And make sure this is selected. And make a shape. Make a rectangle and just drop it down. Drag it to the the ruler. Make sure it's it's kind of overlapping. It looks pretty good. again looks pretty good all right so what you want to do now is just select the sh the, the shape and these um, the pattern you just made and just make sure the rectangle is on top and just cut it you've done the rest okay so we're going to want to transfer this to the left side but before we do that we have this little these little circles in here that we want to attach to this so just hold shift and hold shift and get the shape builder tool and just attach them so now they're all one and before you do this one just duplicate this real quick actually no we don't need that and just connect all of them there we go looks good and what you want to do now is you want to duplicate this right here so you're going to hold alt 
and just drag across and duplicate it. Right click, transform, reflect, and then you can do across the vertical axis. And you've done that. And just zoom in and make sure they're touching. I think they are. And just select both of them and shape build them, make them one. There you go. So now you have a, a nice looking diamond logo. And what you want to do is there is a little sharp tool down here that's pretty sharp and I just want to get rid of that real quick. So I'm going to do the same thing I did for these sides over here and I'm just going to go ahead and um, take the circle tool, hold shift, make a circle and just put it down here. This should be a lot easier than the ones up there because it's in the middle. It should already. There we go. And take another circle and just fill it in. Looks good. Just a little bit down, a little more. Okay. And make sure this circle is above the other circle. So just put it on top and select it and go ahead and delete it. That looks good. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the sharp point on the bottom because I think that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna connect these to here, holding shift and just marquee tooling them together. Shape building tool, shape build tool them together. Sorry, and so now you have this, and it's a pretty cool diamond logo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill the inside of the diamond logo a little bit, and by doing that, I'm just gonna get these this leftover the rectangle I have up here, and duplicate that a few times. Uh, let's duplicate like a few times, and you could just do random patterns if you wanted here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate it. Uh, I don't know. Let's do. Make it the same as this. No, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. Just minimize a little bit. Mm. That looks good. And take this one. I'm oh, sorry. Do that again. Take this one and just drag it down this over here drag this up and there you go looks pretty good and what I want to do is take this one duplicate that transform reflect and then OK and kind of not make it even and just kind of like put it down here because I don't know about you guys but it doesn't have to necessarily be even for me and actually let's not do that um, what else should I do uh, I could do these right here um, go ahead and just make these a lot shorter and it's up to you guys what you want to put in the middle honestly um, you can put whatever you want, but if you want to copy me and just kind of do what I did right here, it'd be pretty much easier. And just make sure this is aligned. That looks good. And take this, transform, rotate, let's rotate this 90 degrees. Okay. And I'm just going to put this up here, from right here. That looks good. I like that. That works out pretty well. And I'm going to take a head and do an eclipse tool. Do a small one right here. Go ahead and put this right in the middle down here to add up a little point to it. And um, if you guys want, you can actually delete like a little path right here. So you can. it looks like it's kind of not fully attached to it and stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and just keep it 100% like that. And that looks pretty good. And yeah, so huh, what else should I do? Oh, if you guys um want to smooth out the sides, just do exactly what you did um, with the main sides and just take a, a circle and just um, smooth out the sides with these right here. But uh, what you want to do is after you've done all of this, just hold shift and hold and select each individual path right here and just shape build tool them all together 
and so you have, they have to be in the same layer, so layer two, and just just stick them all together. Just keep going until you see no more um, black spots. And there you go. Uh, go ahead and oh, whoops. Take this right here. Delete that. All right, so yeah, we have a logo here, and um, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, if it, you found this helpful, if um, you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Please like and comment on this video; it means a lot. And um, yeah, I just recently hit 5,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for that. And I really hope you enjoyed the the tutorial. And uh, yeah, thanks, guys.